In this movie, I want to talk about a couple of techniques that you can use to help you when you're trying to debug your application. The first is to break your problems into pieces. The first step in solving a problem is identifying what the problem is and figuring out where in your code that problem lies. Then you can set about in actually solving it. One of the best ways to do that is to try to isolate the problem by testing the intermediary steps. If performing A, B, C, and D breaks, then try testing A first and see if it works as expected. Then add B to it and try A and B together, and then A, B, and C together. If all of those work, well then you know that your problem is in D. Or if you get a failure somewhere along the line, you'll be able to zero in and locate the problem. In Rails, that may mean checking to make sure that your database query is correct. Then checking your model, make sure everything in your model works. Then looking at your controller, and finally looking at the view. Or if you're performing an action that's redirecting to another action, or a method that's calling another method, you might just check at each step of the process to make sure that the values are what you think they are. The second technique is to use the Rails console. The Rails console is a fantastic tool for debugging because it allows you to move step by step through your code and see all the results. I think of it like holding an object in your hand and being able to examine it. I can get a subject out of the database, I can add values to it, I can try saving it to the database, and then I can inspect it to see what the problems were. What errors am I getting back? I can then try something different, try modifying a value and see if now I can save it to the database. I probably use the Rails console for debugging more than any other tool. The next are the inspect and debug helper methods. These are especially helpful in your controllers when you're doing logging or in your view. You have object.inspect, and you can use that at any point to take a look at an object. Or in our views, we can use debug and then put the object in there, and it will inspect it, but also give us a bit more information about the object as well. Try it out on a couple of Ruby objects in your views and see what it gives you. The next technique is very simple and low tech. We're just simply going to output information to the Rails server console. It's similar to logging, but it's really simple to do because we can just do a puts anywhere in our code and that will output that line to our server console. It won't output to the HTML, but it does dump it to the server console. So if you just put puts got here or puts subjects inspect, it'll dump all of that out to your server console so that you can take a look at it. This is different than logging. It is only sending the information to your server console. And the last technique is to use a debugger. We have a debugger called Ruby Debug that allows you to specify a point in your code that you want to pause and yield control over to the command line. There's a gem that allows you to do it. In your gem file, you just put gem and then Ruby dash debug, do bundle install to make sure that that gem is installed, and then it'll be available to you. You can look online for the documentation on Ruby debug to find out how to use it. Debugging an application can be frustrating. But remember, solving problems is the way that you learn and the way that you improve your skills.